Hey, and welcome back to Jazzy Jane. So today I'm going to do a little bit of sewing on a sewing machine onto the piece of embroidery that I did in my last video. So I've just sewn some sequins on and put a zip on. And yeah, so we're just gonna do some sewing to make this like a kind of bag or pencil case or something. So let's get started. When you do your sewing, you must remember to keep your zip halfway open. Let's turn it around and you just put it like that and under the sewing machine. Start at the end. So first you'll have to do a little bit of a stitch. That, foot oh, foot down. And now you'll have to do a little bit of a stitch that um, knots it in how you do a knot when you do normal sewing so you're just going to sew up two three and then you're going to put it down again and then you're going to put the foot up and then you're going to turn it round all the way and you're just going to go back to the beginning oh foot down and you go one two Three and all the way back. Put your foot in, uh, it needle in, foot up. Let's go this way. This way. Yeah. Turn around, and so now we're just going to go all the way down. Nope. Put your foot down. Oh, foot down, and then we're going to go all the way down. As you can see, I'm just turning the wheel. I'm not doing anything complicated, but you will need adult supervision. Now, as you can see, we've got to the zip part. So you're just going to get your zip and you're going to put the foot up and pull the zip back. Now you're going to put the foot down and just carry on. Remember, try to keep a straight stitch, not all knobbly bobbly like I did at the beginning. Okay, so we're getting to the end. You just go all the way to the end and you keep it in, foot up, and you just turn it around. And you're gonna do three. Foot, foot, foot down. Oh, foot down. It's getting up. <laughs> One, two, three. And you're gonna keep like that. Foot up. Turn it around again. And go all the way up. Foot, oh, foot down. <laughs> and all the way to the Just down. Foot up. Needle up. Oh. So, yeah, keep your foot up and, and then, then needle up and then gently pull your material out. Gently pull your material out. Just pull gently. Yeah, no, the, it's because it's between a stitch. Ah, okay. So pull it out and then snip there. So you will always need adult supervision when doing this. So yeah. Should I cut this as well? No. Okay. Okay, now we have to do the other side. So we're gonna go foot. Start, foot further. Okay, now foot down. Remember this time. And then you start doing three stitches. Okay, and then we're gonna go like that. And you just turn it round to do your knot, remember. Put your knees on. Put down. And go to the end. Put up, turn around. So what we're going to do is, since the zip is all the way up there, just going to reach in and pull the zip back. Oh, no, it's Okay, Put so foot down. And just go follow the thread, which is just basically a run-in stitch. I've done a run-in stitch just to keep this on. If 
you're wondering how it's magically attached. Uh, try and keep a straight line. There, now we've done our knot. Cut off your legs. We're just going to cut off our ends. We have to take out our run-in stitch. So careful not to touch your um, other stitch, but you could just cut these bits. For me, I've done a white run-in stitch, so I could just cut the white one. So now we have to turn it inside out. I might just push this back a little bit more. And just turn it this way. Push out your corners so you've got nice little corners like that. Um, and so. Could actually be a little purse. You could, but you've got to do this one too. Oh, I forgot. So, get that corner nice. We're just pushing out our corners. And it's a sizable to iron, warm iron. 
Then it's advisable to iron it, so like with a warm iron. So it looks nice and neat. Just push that like that. That like that. Do my zip up and now I am done. Today I made a little purse or headcase with a piece of embroidery. So 